Good afternoon, students. This is Blair Barnhart with the Barnhart Group here today to talk to you about another distress in our asphalt surface roads and parking lots, micro-paver, paver distress identification manual. Now, if you watched my last rant about the 09 drop-off, one could only wonder, what could be more dangerous, Evan, than a drop-off but a rut full of water? In a northern climate, a rut full of water spells ice and disaster for a traveling motorist. In the southeastern states, a rut filled with water on a hot August day when the pavement temperature is 160 degrees Fahrenheit spells to me hydro planning. Nothing could be worse than coming out here with a two-wheel drive vehicle, a small compact car, and getting stuck in this rut full of water, hydro planning out of control, running off to the side of this ditch. Again, we've got the 09. I hate to keep driving this home, but this is clearly a situation where we've got almost every every conceivable distress option in here. Now, I know I promised you students earlier and you agency personnel, when our crews are working in the field with the on-the-ground micro-paper pavement evaluation, we promise you as our customer that we will take care of number 23, customer service that distress in America where people just don't seem to care anymore. Well, we care, but I told you before that we had a bag of cold mix in the back of our UTV. Today, we don't have enough cold mix on a dump truck to fix this situation properly. First of all, we need about five tandem loads of dirt along this shoulder to provide some lateral support. Second of all, we've got four, six, perhaps eight inches thickness of asphalt in here that's not doing the job. That tells me we've got a sub-base failure problem. There's only one way to fix this oven properly, and that's in all my years of construction experience with asphalt reclamation, soil stabilization, pavement preservation. We need a pulverizer here, and we need Portland cement powder type 3, and we need it today. It could be a zipper type repair. A lot of the agencies have their own little zippers and milling heads on their loaders. This could be very easily done by the agency personnel. It's almost too small for a contractor to come in and do unless we tied this in with a major project here. Now, let's go have a look at this, Evan, before the traffic starts up again. If you look at your micro-paver guide, students, uh, we do have metric in case we're in Canada, but uh, we have inches for us people in USA. And in this case, I want to point out that the top half an inch or a quarter inch up here, we need to add that to whatever increment we measure. But in this case, Evan, I'm seeing clearly we've got almost two inches of a rut. Now, if you look at your paver distress guide uh, in section 15 for rutting, clearly low quarter inch to half inch, medium half inch to one inch, high severity rutting is one inches or more. And we've got two inches here. That tells me again, We've got high severity on steroids. I drove my truck through here when I was doing the preliminary survey and I wobbled around a little bit. I wasn't expecting this on a county road 25 foot width platform. Listen, for more information on this distress and other distresses, please visit www.thebarnhartgroup.com. In the resources section is chuck full of videos, magazine articles, and PDF uh, specifications for asphalt reclamation soil stabilization. Watch your back up. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us out here today in the county of anywhere in America, and I hope to see you real soon. And for you students, this may be on a quiz. Take care, folks. Thank you.